Hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today we are going to see an interesting topic on uh, JMeter. Um, so this is what, in fact one of the question uh, I have been asked a few days back. Um, and the question is uh, mainly asking about how, so basically we all know um, we have uh, various listeners uh, like the uh, the summary report, the aggregate report, and in fact, we do have uh, minimum response times. We can view uh, average response time. We can view the maximum response time. And on top of this, we also see the percentile. And in fact, uh, I have had several videos on what is percentile and how to find that. But there is a twist in it. So there are few already predefined percentiles which we have in JMeter aggregate report, which you're going to see now. And on top of that, uh, there is a requirement that the business or the customer wants to view or wants to see a different set of values in terms of um, the percentile. So in this video, we're going to see how to configure it. So this is going to be more interesting. Uh, so please do watch the entire video and let me know uh, uh, your feedback in the comments and if you like this video please do like it and share the video with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet so uh coming back to this uh video so let me open the jmeter and i'll explain you what exactly is present and what is required or what is what is the thing that we're going to change and also we'll uh, do a quick test to see the difference between the values and we'll, we'll just do a play like any time with that video because jmeter has as we all know has given us a lot of options to play with and it has a lot of things to experiment with so uh coming back to jmeter yes so here i have my jmeter and uh, instead of starting from scratch I'm, I'm going to open off my recently created script so this is the recently created script and uh, let me check what do i have okay i don't think this is going to work let me open a different one um No. Yep, we do have our first store. So, uh, coming back to the uh, the original topic. So, what are we going to see so today? So, I'm going to add a listener, and in this listener, uh, you can see the summary report, which has the minimum, average, maximum response time, as I have told you earlier. And on top of this, some of us would want to uh, know the response times like, uh, just get it, yeah, aggregate report. So in the aggregate report, you can see we have got 90th percentile, 95th percentile, 99th percentile, right? So uh, what I'll do is let me do uh, a quick execution with like five users for five iterations. And let me show you what exactly is the difference and why do we need to do this? So if I go in, if I open the aggregate report and here you can see just sort down the minimum average maximum and then I have the 90th percentile, the 95th percentile, and then the 99th percentile. So here if you see the difference in response times, for example, the minimum let, let's take the the, the first uh, uh, transaction. So here if you see the first transaction has a response time of a minimum response time of 29 the average of 54 and the maximum of 217, 217 milliseconds. So here uh, I have exceeded for like 25 times. And the 90th percentile here is 129. The 95th is 134. Oh, sorry. The 95th is 134. And then the 99th percentile is 217. So uh, I have uh, told this in previous, in several scenarios, but let me again tell you, uh, so that you can quickly recap. So how do we find the percentage? How do you find the 90th percentage? So just for an example, uh, you have uh, executed a, one particular transaction. Say for example, in this scenario, you have, you have executed the first transaction, just first transaction. So just an example. And when you run 100 times, you will get 100 different or 100 values. So sort it down from in an ascending order, just like from small number to the biggest number. So now we have 100 samples and the sample or the result that you are seeing in the 90th column, or the, the 90th place, when you sort it from 0, 1 to 100, 
that is your 90th percentile and the same applies for 95th and the same applies for the 99th so the the one that is in the 95th place is the 95th percentile and the one that is in the 99th percentile is the 99th percentile so now the question here so i have got a question that the business wanted to uh, see or they wanted to uh, have uh, the uh, 80th percentile uh, instead of 99 because 99 as you can see it's almost closer to the maximum so they do not want to see the 99 but they really want to have the a different flavor of response and you know, sometimes we do get these kind of requirements and yes we, we can actually try that so now we'll see how to get the 80th percentile so i do not want to have nine i do not want to have 99 then i need i need to have 80th 80th 90 90th percentile and the 95th percentile so now let me uh, let's see how to do that so for that let me open the notepad file notepad plus plus and in the notepad plus plus i'm going to open the jmeter property so where will you get the jmeter property so the jmeter properties is located inside your bin folder so under the bin folder you can see the jmeter properties so now here search for the aggregate graph aggregate report and aggregate graph search for this location and under this location you can see three values so here if you can see the first percentile display that is result defaults to 90th person 90 percentage the second percentile display to display is 95 and then the third one is obviously the 99 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to 80 so let me change this third one to 80 percentage and then i'm going to uncomment this because only when you uncomment it the default one changes uh, you, you are going to override it so you're going to override the value and you're going to display the 80th percentile so now i have updated so now we can see 90th percentile 95th percentile and 80th percentile in the uh, aggregate report so let, i'm going to save it i have saved it so coming back to jmeter you will not find changing it now but what we can do is let me go file restart so I'm restarting the JMeter. So anytime I have told this in several scenarios, anytime when you have and you make any change, it's always good to restart only then the changes will get reflected. So now let me open the file, go to open recent correlation. And now let me open the third group and go into aggregate graph. So now here you can see the 80th percentile, right? So now let me do the same test. Let me do a real quick test. And yes, the test has completed, going to the first one. So let me change it, bring the 80th percentile here. So here you can see there's a little bit of difference, right? When, when it comes to so it, it's quite higher than the average. Let me bring in the order which we normally have. So here it's, it's quite higher than the, uh, let me uh, take this meeting outside. It's higher than the average, but it is half of what we have it in the maximum. So that's how, uh, this is the reason like the, the, the client wants to understand uh, the different flavor of response time so here as you all see uh, we can uh, uh, we, we can add the percentile and let, let's let try some more thing like whether uh, we can add percentile to it so for example here you can see 80th percentile 90th and 95th now we'll try to add the 99th to it so let, let's try to add it whether we we'll see whether it, it gets proper or not because in some scenarios if it works then it's always good so i'm going to add 99 same here, design. save, go to jmeter, save this as well, go to file, do a quick restart. Yep, the jmeter is loading now. And yeah, even you might get this in your interview question as well. Yeah, I just forgot to mention it. Yeah, your interviewer might ask you uh, how to add. So the step or how to add is uh, go to jmeter properties, under jmeter properties, go to the aggregate graph in the aggregate graph add or rename or re or change the value of the percentile values and now let's open the script and in the script let me open the aggregate graph uh yeah so yeah this is what i wanted to show you so it by default you can have only three and that is Okay, so since uh, we have added four, but still it has chosen only three. So you can very well see here, right? Okay. Okay, I think this is the one which I wanted to change. Okay, we see four. 
let's see now and that's my mistake sorry and go to file do a quick restart okay we wanted to change the name change change the the declarative value aggregate report four uh percentile four and now the uh The gem has loaded. Let me go back to file, open recent, get the correlation script, go to the thread group, get the aggregate report. Yes. So here, and now you can see just three. So it is by default that you can see only three percentile values, and that we have to decide. So here, um, just to let you know, so by default we have got one and two, and then uh, since I have kept these as three it took 99 and when I change this back to 4 and uh, because since I have changed it to 4 and by default aggregate report will show you only 3 percentile values and this is a perfect example of that so even you can tell the interviewer that see I have tried these and this is what has happened and yeah with that you can show how versatile are you in terms of JVT knowledge. So with that I come to an end of this video and I believe this video will be very useful to you. So until I meet you in our in another video. It's bye bye from us and your favorite little YouTube channel. Take care and bye bye.